We try to approach curation with respect towards that person's craft and to highlight it in you know the highest form that we possibly can. For curation's sake, it's basically coming up with a theme or a themeology, having different genres of artists, getting the appropriate work and arranging it in a way that, at least for me, that almost tells a story. In this era where people work digitally so much, the artisan handmade skills sometimes have to fall to someone like us, hence client work. So this is 10 years of work, um, a selection of about 150 pieces out of almost 20,000 handmade projects in the last uh, 10 years. Art for me is uh, uh, it's like breathing, you know, to me I uh, every day I have to be doing something or, or be thinking about what's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm always working on several pieces, so it means, I guess it's a way of living, you know, I, I, I live art. It's a visual expression of emotion that reaches out and connects with other people and it, it, it's our shared humanity in life. For me, that's what art is. Uh, not everything has a deep-rooted feeling. I think you know certain things uh, you just do just because they're purdy, uh, you know. But there's some things that you know just kind of flow from inside you. And I believe that if you really do put something meaningful into it, people will get something out of it. They may not get what I'm feeling, but they'll get something. I see everything as art, you know. Life is art. I've actually popped out with a paintbrush in my hand, so I've always been an artist. Of course, my mother takes credit for everything I do because she says she produces me. So, so. Art is the most successful when you don't get bored looking at it. You return to it and find something new every time. That's the one thing that is common to every culture, every age group, every country, every language. It's the one damn thing we all got in common.